song. Oh no, again. Open your mouth and give him glory. Oh no, glory, Lord. to open a mouth and appreciate the Lord this evening. Beloved, I want to let you know that the Lord is good to you. The Lord is good to his church. The Lord is merciful. I want you to understand that we are already in the last month in the year 2022. From the beginning of this year to now, God has been merciful. God has been so gracious. Why not open your mouth and begin to thank him for all he has done. For the good health that you are enjoying. For the sound mind that he has given to you. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Give him all the glory. Because he is a merciful God. The Bible says that it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. His compassion they fail it not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Open your mouth and appreciate the Lord. The Lord is merciful. Give him all the praise. Thank him for what he is doing in the church. Thank him for the testimony he has given to us. Thank him. Give him all the praise for the souls that have been brought into the kingdom on daily basis. Give God the glory for as many that have been baptized into Christ. Oh, give God all the honor. Father, we thank you. We give you praise this evening. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, Father, there is none like you. You are wonderful, Lord. In fact, we don't even have the worst, Lord God Almighty, that is suitable to, to, to qualify you. Oh, Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you all the glory. Blessed be thy holy name. Let your name alone be praised forever. Let your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your love, for your care. Even when we are not faithful, Lord, you remain faithful. Oh, Lord, even in our weakness, Lord, you are the Lord God who has always been our strength. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Be now exalted. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray. Hallelujah. I want us to sing this hymn. We are still thanking our Lord because there is no God like him. Amen. You know, you sleep, you wake up, it's a miracle. You go out and you come back. Many of us, because all these things we happens on a daily basis, we just take them as no man. But it's a miracle. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's sing him 52. He brought me out of the miry clay. That's why we can stand here discipline. That's why we can declare that we are the sons of God. Because the Lord has brought us out. I want you to know that it is the mercy of the Lord that found you. The mercy of the Lord found us. Those that are still languishing in the field of sin, in the field of iniquity, Oh, I tell you that they don't have the opportunity that you have now. Hallelujah. Hymn number 52, he brought me out. 
Are we there? Let's go. My heart was distressed in Jehovah's dread from and lo in the pit where my sins drag me down. I cry to the Lord from the deep Mary who tenderly brought me how to go. Hallelujah. Of the Mary Clay. He sat my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my soul today. A song of praise. Hallelujah. Strong rock by his side, my steps were established and yet I'll abide. No danger of falling, while yet I remain. But stand by his grace until the crown. Hallelujah. Out of the mire, he set my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my soul today, a song of praise. Hallelujah. La la. By day and by night, his sweet note I will bring. My heart's overflowing, I'm happy and free. I praise my Redeemer who has rescued. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You brought us out. A song of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Mercy to me. Oh, yes. I'll praise him to all men is good. They shall see him. I'll sing of salvation at home. And I brought to men. We shall hear the truth and trust. He brought me out. He brought me out of the mire. Oh yes, he sat my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my soul. Praise, hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want us to sing him number six. Oh, how I love Jesus. Do you love him? I can't hear your voice. Do you love him? 
Let me tell you, there is nothing better than being in God's presence. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus. Hymn number six. La 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 Are we there now? Amen. Okay, let's go. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his word. Oh, he sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. I love him. He first loves me. La 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 la. He tests me off I see. Your hands to the Lord who died to set me free. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, he tests all his precious. The sin has baffled me. I love him. Oh. Oh, Are you sure? Proclaim it right now. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loves me. Aha. Uh -huh. Jesus, ha! Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. I want us to pray just a few prayers tonight before we we'll hear the word of God from our beloved pastor. Amen. I want us to open our mouths right now and commit the forthcoming camp meeting before the Lord. I want us to go before the Lord in prayers. There are many people that wish to be there. We are going to pray first and foremost that the Lord will make every believer to be in that gathering. That whatever challenge, whatever obstacle, whatever issue that will hinder anyone from being in God's presence, that God should take it away. Is it a good prayer to pray? Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. As many 
that desire to be in the camp meeting. The believers all over the world from the east, north, west, and south, far and near, let the Lord God grant grace for every one of them to be there. For every one of the believers, including us here, let's pray. Lord, the Lord, take away every obstacle, every challenge, every, every, every uh, barricade that we want to truncate the journey. Let the Lord take it away. Open your mouth and pray because it is a time to receive a fresh touch from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, help every believer to be there. Take away obstacles. Take away anything that may want to hamper anyone from being there. Is it financial issue? Lord, may you make a way. In the name of Jesus, Lord, make a way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' most glorious name, we pray. Yes, we are still praying. I want us to commit all the ministers into the hand of God. That God is going to use in the camp meeting all the ministers, all the brothers and sisters. That the Lord God Almighty will take hold of them. That all that is needed, the necessary arrangement that needs to be in place for the camp meeting to be a success. That God Almighty will make it possible. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we commit the ministers in your care. Lord, all the ministers that you are going to use for us, Lord, in the camp meeting, all the brothers and sisters, the singer, the media people, we commit every one of them in your hands, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you will prepare them by yourself. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you will prepare them by yourself. Lord, you will prepare them by yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, have your way. Lord, take preeminence control. All that needed to be in place, for the camp meeting to be a success, Lord, provide. Lord, make a way in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' most precious name, we have prayed. Amen. I also want us to pray that as many that are going, that the Lord God Almighty will grant every one of us journey mercy, to and fro. There shall be no record of kidnapping. There shall be no record of accident. There shall be no record of ritualism. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let God see every one of us true to that very camp meeting and back to our base. Let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that on the day of departure, that everyone will be departing from their different locations. Lord, in heaven, you will make us to get there, Lord, successfully. There shall be no news. Lord of accident, there shall be no news of kidnapping, no evil news, Lord, will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We will all arrive the campground safely and sound. And when we are done, Lord God Almighty, when you are done with us there, you will bring us back safely in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' most precious name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want you to pray for yourself right now as you are in God's presence. I want you to tell the Lord, Father, touch me. Amen. God is able to do something great in your life. You need the touch of God. I need the touch of God. It is the word of God that can change us. There are some characters you have. There are some characters that I have that does not give God glory. Let, let the word of God touch you. Let the Lord touch you tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, as your word will comfort through your master servant tonight, Lord, touch my life. I don't want to go back home the same way I came. I don't want to remain carnal. I don't want to be a seasonal, a seasonal Christian, a seasonal believer. Believe today, then disbelieve tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Lord, touch me. The word that I will hear tonight, let the word do me good. Let my life be transformed. By the reason of your word tonight, let sickness jump out of my body. Let diseases jump out of my body. Even the online audience, by the reason of your word tonight, let healing come to them. As many that are sick, let them receive healing. As many that are challenged in any area, let the Lord send help. 
by the reason of his word. The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. Let the word of God heal every one of us tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Have your way tonight, Lord. In the same way, let's pray for the man servant, our pastor, that the Lord will be using to bless us tonight. That the Lord Almighty will speak through him. That all these words that will come out from his mouth will be the word that will, the words of God that will touch my life. All the words that will come out from his mouth this evening, they will be words that will transform him. There will be words that will, that will change my life for the, for the best. Let's open them out and pray. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The windows of heavens are open. The blessings are falling tonight. There is joy, joy, joy in my heart. For Jesus makes everything right. I gave him my old Tata garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm That's why I am happy tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Blessings are falling to They are falling tonight. Oh, joy, joy in my heart. For oh, Jesus makes everything. Uh huh. I gave him my old Tata garment. He gave me a robe of pure wine. I'm feasting today on the man. Oh, yes. And that's why I am happy too. I want you to sing it one more time. Heavens are. They are open. I'm falling to. There is joy, joy, joy in my heart. For Jesus makes everything. Oh, yes. I gave him my own time. And he gave me, he gave me a robe of your. Oh, I feast it on the, on the manna. And that's why I am happy to. Amen. I want us to sing this hymn that our pastor loves to sing a lot. Amen. Just as I am without one plea, but that I plot was for me, and that I peace may come today.
Just as I am without one play. Just as I am, thy love on me has broken every barrier. the Lord. Amen. Glory be to his name. Our Father, we thank you tonight. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. When the righteous run in, surely they will be saved. Lord, how the Apostle Paul said that I may know you and the power of your resurrection. Lord, I pray that you grant us grace. In this time that circumstances want us to look around ourselves, may we get out from ourselves and begin to look up to you until we can see your face, the sweetness of your glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Be thou exalted forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. May we sit at In the hollow of his hands, oh yes, Lord, in the hollow of his hands, I am saved by God himself. Right in there. Oh, his hands. Hallelujah. Oh, his hands. I am saved. I am saved. God is He holds me. I am saved while God himself taught me. He holds me in the hollow. And we are saved. We are saved.
Where art thou? Please, correct me with this. Let's use the modern English. Where are you? Let's turn our Bibles quickly. We will stand to read this one. Genesis chapter 3. Amen. Verse 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. May be seated. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll be having some announcement at the end of this meeting. I received some revelations from three persons. The last was from a brother who is seated here. And I will really want us to take them serious and go into prayers. Not because of maybe something is fixing to happen, but because God has revealed that we should be happy and then we go to God in prayers and take the stand, the position that the Lord had given to us. Glory be to his name. Amen. So, with that, we, with that, we should be having two vigils. Praise the Lord. So, I'll brief uh, Brother Herbert about it, about those two vigils, and we'll take them very seriously. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the family's concern must be on ground. And every one of us, the family that stays and prays together, will stay to testify together. Amen. It goes beyond just sitting down but as a family, we stand strong. We set our defense strong. Victory belongs to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And I also be hoping for what Joshua said is on leave, so he will be taking charge of the studies also. Praise the Lord. So we distribute every man to his work. Amen. The name of the Lord be glorified. So let's look at this, this evening. How many of you followed what I was writing on the last group? If you have read it, lift up your hands. Let me see if you've read it. Okay, a few. So some people don't even know we have a group. The church has got a group. Amen. When Lucifer fell, God did not ask, Lucifer, where are thou? 
Amen. We are sacrificing. We might not use funds, you know, but for that, only that one. Amen. So Lucifer, when he was falling or when he fell, God did not ask him, Lucifer, where art thou? Amen. Because Lucifer did not actually fall. The bearer of Lucifer, or the, the, the bearer, the actual player, was the one who fell. Amen. So there was, there is a connection between the message and the messenger. The message makes the messenger. The messenger brings the message. So you can't separate the message from the messenger. When you talk about the foundation of the Gentile ministry, you talk about Paul. Amen. And you will hear him say, remember me in all things. So, no matter our studies, when it comes to whom God has revealed for us to follow, number one, Paul. He said to us, be ye followers of me as I am of Christ. So if Paul should fall, then the message will also fall with him if care is not taken. But it depends on the, on the union. That's how the marriage is. Praise the Lord. So Titus wrote, the only wise God. Paul wrote that. That God, Yahweh, is the only wise God. If there be other gods, which there are none, they are not wise. The wisdom of God is not this worldly wisdom. It is embedded in his eternal thoughts. How God so directed things. He will be doing his things. You'll be watching as if you are watching a movie. The more you see, the less you understand. Because that's not where he's going to. Praise the Lord. So Lucifer fell. God just did this. He took the name and left the being. But when he left the being, that fellow, when he fell, he took the darkness part. I won't say dark part. He took the darkness with him and fell with it. Amen. From eternity, when God came out of eternity, out of unseen, and appeared in time, when he appeared in time, and the first thing God did was to reveal himself. Now, that revelation is not to you. It is Pam, automatic. That is, let me give you an, 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 an example. Do you see what I'm holding in my hand? Who can see what I'm holding in my hand? So, when it comes up, you give it a name. Flux. Correct? So, behind this board is eternity. When it came out, it became time. 
But there is, between this eternity and time, there is something that the speed of light cannot even see it. That's what I want to talk about before we go there. It was God that gave the Son light. It was the Father that gave the Son life, to have life in himself. All ye saints of life proclaim, of light proclaim, Jesus the light of the world. We walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy abound or are found. Complete it. Shine all around me by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. So now, when God, who was hidden, revealed himself in time, he was still not seen. He was still unseen. That's why till today, he is called the invisible God. So, amen. When, let me put it on the board. Eternity. So when he moved out from here, when he moved, these are thoughts, these are thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts, all these dots. There are billions and trillions and quaternions of thoughts in quantums. And you are just one of those thoughts of God. I'm just there, one of those thoughts of God. You were there in the mind of God. So, but now, there is no time here. Timeless, no time, eternity. So now, when he came out here, before he began to creation, when he came out, I come like this. When he came out from here, amen. Between this line, praise the Lord, he opened up. When he opened up, praise the Lord. So we have. Christ. Then the beginning began. Let me say this. Who is the creator? Who is the creator? Did the word of God create? Did God create? Between the word of God and God, who is the creator? So what about the word? I get it. If you teach me that way, will I not fail? I get you. So that is the tiny line I want to show you. God. Amen. The self existing one. That place that they came out and say in the beginning, Elohim. Because he came out as the self-existing one before 
he started creating. Correct? So, that's the line I want to tell you about. Because if you say he just came out from here and it was the word directly, amen. He said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word in eternity was God. So I've made three lines. One, two, three. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with when it came out. Because God is a creator. He's the creator. But what did God create? Nothing but the word. The only creation of God is the word of God. And from there, that word created everything. Let's look at Re Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. Let's look at the Laodicean church age, the commendation or the introduction, verse 14. Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. Yes. Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. What does it say? And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write. What did he say? These things saith the Amen. These things saith the Amen. The faithful and true witness. Yes. The beginning of the creation of God. Stop. The Amen is the faithful and true witness of God. The Amen. Amen is another name for Jesus Christ. Amen is the name for the word of God. The word of God is like, say, soup. For us Africans, you can't eat soup like that. You must eat it with something. Correct. So, the word of God and amen can't be separated. The word of God is yes and amen. Now, let me tell you, there's not there's no difference between yes and amen. Amen. There's no difference between yes and amen. Yes is just English. Or your language. Amen. Or human understanding. But amen is spiritual. So, do you want this, this uh, big? You say yes. But the thing is, if it is God that is telling you, God is going to say, God's will. Amen this big. Yes. Yes and amen. Because God is not trying. God does not try anything. You see, God is not, you see, when Adam was created, that's why this question is very deep. Adam, where are you? Listen, God did not create us to try to do something. It's not in his mind. There is nothing like, let me try. If it doesn't work, I try again. No, 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 no. See, when God said, let there be light, in reality, there was no light. But God did not check. He didn't check. Go to Genesis chapter 1. Let me show you something again. Genesis chapter 1. Look at verse 3 now. And God said. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Yes. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Uh -huh. See now, because you, you are reading it in a book. So you think that when God said, let there be light. Pop, immediately there was light. No. God said, let there be light. And he walked away. He has said it. He doesn't need to check it. Because he is sure of himself. He does not recognize any opposition. That's why David said, Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. The word is settled. He does not, he does not see. Don't think that how, he does not think how it will be. Then, listen to the next verse, verse 4. 
And God did what? And and God saw the light ah. that it was Wait. good. So how were we talking now and I said that he brought the light? He said, light, go and stay there. No. If he said light, go and stay there, he won't see the light now that the light is good. So when I said, let there be light, he walked away. And as he turned the other way, the light has appeared. Amen. And he saw the light that, mm -hmm, it's good. That is what we are saying here. Amen. But you see, this light that came again, are you listening to me? Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. Are you listening to me? In Genesis chapter 3, uh, sorry, Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. Amen. Amen. When God said, let there be light, billions and trillions of years have passed since God created the world. Let there be light is a separation. In the first original creation, when God revealed himself, he came out of eternity. He came out of eternity with all that he had inside him. Then he put everything that he chose if everything was okay inside God, he will not choose. Why should God choose? Amen. Why did God choose? If everything was in unity, if everything was in agreement with the spirit of God, with the spirit of life, God will not choose. Why did he choose? He chose because... Inside him, he has started separating inside his mind. I don't like this character. I like this character. I don't like this character. Those who behave like this, are, they can't be my friend. Those who will behave like this. I don't like forward people. I like humble people. I don't like proud people. I like this. So he has started separating. So when he finished the separation in his mind, he taught it, but he hid it. That's what is called the mystery of his will. He kept it secret. No revelation, nothing. So when he was saying, I reveal myself, God was still hiding something. So the knowledge of good and evil, which was a greater part of God, also came out and said, yes, I'm, uh, yes, I'm in agreement with God. We are going together. And when they came out, amen. He put all these things inside the word of God and put it in Lucifer. Lucifer was the anointed before let there be light. Lucifer was the anointed. If you say he was not anointed, then it means that some beings could do things without God. He was anointed. So being anointed, praise the Lord, he was now to carry the light. He was anointed to carry the light. But like every one of us, let me tell you something. God when you say that you give your life to Christ as the slogan is and God saves you are you listening to me? And God forgave you your sins. You begin to enjoy the presence of God. Listen carefully. You begin to enjoy what? The presence of God. 
you are studying, you are praying, you are fasting, you are singing, you are praising, you are in the spirit. Amen. So God, wash away your sins. Correct. Think it well. So if God wash away people's sins, why is it possible for them to sin again? Now, he wash it away. He wash it. He said, yes, he used the blood of Jesus and he wash it. So he wash it away. I believe it too. Yes, he wash it. He wash your sins away. And after two years, the church was judging your case on malice. The church gathered on your behalf. You were quarreling with a neighbor. You, that your sins have been washed away. Why is it possible that you could come back and still disrespect somebody? You could still be annoyed. He didn't wash that part. You see, if you have not understood what I've been saying, now that the man is like one of us, to know good and evil. Once you know it, you can't escape. You can't escape. You don't get what I'm saying. I'm not preaching to you. I'm explaining things. I'm just talking. You can't escape. That's why there's going to be a second death. That thing must actually die. For those who don't want to wait for second death, because the second death, you will not know, but who dies second death will never survive it. So, the, the ones, I don't want a second death. So, what do I wait for? I wait for the adoption to wit, the redemption of my body. You see, Adam would have been in this world, he would still be alive today. If he never knew good and evil. Amen. Amen. So when God, when he came out, things have happened. Years have passed. Billions of years have passed. He ruled by the word but the word was carried by the word bearer, which is simple, simply a preacher. Lucifer simply means a preacher. But God did not choose two preachers. His character, he only chose one. He tested God, excuse me, God tested the angels first. It was the test of the angels. So, he chose the best of them, gave him everything. All that was given to Lucifer was so that he would not fall. Not to make him beautiful than any other. So, Lucifer, you cannot look up to any because you are the most beautiful. Lucifer, you cannot be afraid of any because you are the strongest. Lucifer, you cannot learn from any because you are the wisest. Lucifer, you cannot, uh, you cannot be taught by any because you are, the, you are the most knowledgeable. Correct? So, all this thing is given to you, but Lucifer, there is something here called the knowledge of good and evil. Don't touch it. Don't awaken it. Remain a virgin to that knowledge. 
Can you do it? Yes. Ah, Lord, you don't trust me. I will do it. And okay. Now, as we say go, you will never stop. Go. And he began to speak. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. He began to speak. The man began to preach. As he was preaching, they began to tell him, Ah, brother, nice. You preach too much. Ah, after they now say, ah, From preaching too much, they say, Brother, nice. Ah, you preach more than the other man. Oh, <laughs> brother, nice. See, even your, all the fathers, you preach more than them. Then, brother, nice begin to, brother, nice says that, brother, do you see what they are saying? He said, I'm humble, but I don't want to say it to, but I'm humble. I don't want to say it. Say, ah, sister, your prophecy is different from others. Don't, 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 don't use my eye to look at yourself. Don't look, to look yourself. Oh, your death has come. Some testimonies that they give and mention your name is to destroy you. Say, when that brother sang, I just saw angels. The person saying it might be sincere, but those words, are you sure it's God that put it in his mouth? When I leave that church, they will know. You are not the one saying it. Why will they know? Because the devil is using your mouth to talk. And you are innocent. But you are foolishly falling. God warned one of his prophets. He said, that man is wiser than Job and Daniel. So now, I give an example. So this is it. Watch what I'm drawing to you. I will never teach this anywhere else. This is earth. This is heaven. Nothing separated. Why? The word of God as the waters covered why? Amen. The preacher. Amen. He had darkness in him but that darkness the light he was carrying never allowed the darkness to shine. Light and darkness were cooperating. Before this time, before Genesis chapter 1, verse 4, God had never separated darkness from light. If you know that he had done it, show me in your Bible. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Amen. Amen. Existed before, before Genesis chapter 1 verse 4. Amen. 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 Show it to me. I form the light. 
Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Yes. I form the light. I form the light. And create darkness. I create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil. And create evil. I the Lord do all these things. He could not give it to any other person to do because he was the manager and he was managing it well. So the agent was Lucifer and it was going on, going on, going on. So Lucifer, he knew good and evil. But the angels didn't know. Because they didn't have the ability to operate it on their own. After the fall, of those angels. Have you ever heard that angels fell again? Amen. Amen. What made Lucifer different from other angels? What made him different? Let me ask you, from eternity, when God revealed himself and revealed himself, who was next to God? Who was next to God? Who was the closest person to God? The closest being? It was Lucifer. Praise the Lord. Who? Amen. Amen. So in Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7, he says, I form the light, I create darkness and make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. And the evil never offended anyone because it was not awakened. It was not part of the message, but it was there as a weakness. God brought the evil to show the evil that he was evil. But evil was saying, I'm not harmful. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me help you to understand here. Amen. Sin. Accident is not sin. Sin. It's just the reason for accidents. Are you listening to me? But when you look at sin itself, which part of sin is not palatable? Let me give you an example. Whoever, if you are angry with somebody, are you angry with yourself that you're angry with somebody? Do you know the person that is angry is venting anger? He doesn't want to stop because he's enjoying it until he has accident. Until the accident now is the result. When the result comes, he now regrets. But when he was doing it, oh, brother, leave him alone. Leave me. Amen. He doesn't want to accept. But when they leave him and he go jab the person bad, the person falls and dies. Then he that's when he knows that he is alone. He will be looking for people. Say, do you you see that I didn't hit him very well? No. He said, bros, I'm going for a village meeting there. Everybody goes away. Your package. But why didn't he feel remorse when he was getting angry? You see a young lady, the young man is trying to cheat her. He can't marry her, but she wants to go there. She wants to naked herself for him. She wants to do everything, and she will still regret. But why can't she see that before? If you get in her way, she hates you for your whole life until she has accident, until she carries a disease or she is pregnant. Then you see her now humble. 
Anything you tell her, she, she believes. She believes. She doesn't believe. She has accidents. <laughs> Lucifer, that light bearer, had an accident. Because he had gotten accustomed to the result of light. So he thought that it was his result, not knowing that it is the result of the light he was carrying. Lucifer never said anything that failed. Because while Lucifer was here, God had nothing to say. God never go to the angels to say anything because Lucifer was there. Lucifer was the light. And what was, what was the light bearer? What was Lucifer carrying? He was carrying God. For the word is, was God. Ah, Father. So carrying God, God is not speaking. God is never, has never been a preacher. That's why when Jesus came here, he was not a preacher. He is the light. Amen. The word does not preach. But the Lord, the word is preached. So when you look at John the Baptist, John the Baptist was a mighty preacher. Because he preached the word. He was preaching God to the people. But when Jesus came, people did not even understand. What kind of preaching is this? Blessed are the poor in spirit. For they shall see God. You don't even know whether it is a continuation or whether it's an addition. <laughs> Amen. So you, you sitting here, you had, for they shall see God. Those people had, blessed are the poor in spirit. <laughs> Only those who understood him, who were the scribes, could bring it together. So today somebody say, ah, God revealed himself to me. Which part did he reveal to you? Don't get into trouble. How can they preach without a preacher? And how can they preach without being, how can they hear without a preacher? And how can they preach without being apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers? Not, not reverend. Not bishops. How can they preach without being sent? And this is what is sent. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. This is what is being sent. So Lucifer, he began to, Thus said the Lord, it happened. Thus said the Lord, it happened. Thus said the Lord, it happened. Thus says the Lord, it happened. Then one day, he left, Thus says the Lord. And try, thus says myself. It happened. It happened. God trapped him. Because, remember the Bible says, let's look at Ezekiel chapter 28. That iniquity was found in him. Iniquity means he knew this thing was there. Ezekiel chapter 28. Yes, let's look at verse 11 and 12. 13, verse, 14, and 15. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyros. Now, the king of Tyros is the king of Tyre, which is also Tyre and Sidon, Lebanon. And Lebanon is part of the land that God gave to Abraham for the children of Israel. Keep going. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Thou sealest up the sum. Oh, you seal up the sum. Full of wisdom. Full of wisdom. And perfect in beauty. Listen, this beauty was perfect. Keep going. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Yes. 
Every precious stone was thy covering. Your precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, sardius topaz, topaz, and the diamond. Diamond. The beryl, the onyx, and the jasper. Yes, sir. The sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle. Yes, sir. And gold. And gold. The workmanship of thy tablet and of thy pipes was prepared in thee. Yes. The day thou was created. Yes. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. That and covereth. I have set thee so. Do you see that? I, the Lord, that's, I've set thee so means he's telling him I make peace. Lucifer was a peacemaker. I create darkness. Lucifer was a carrier of darkness somewhere, but he wouldn't show because the light was the outer part. The, the conspicuous, the obvious part. I create evil. Evil was there. Everything was complete in him. Keep reading. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. He was upon Jerusalem. That's the Thou has walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Stones of fire are angels. Thou was perfect in thy ways from yes. the day that thou was created. Yes. Till, till iniquity, iniquity was, was found, found in thee. Now, when iniquity was found in him, God did not immediately react. Brother, God has not changed from what you are renewing him. The little you and I know him, he has not changed from that. For example, if we, we, when we do things, God just do as if he didn't see that we do it. He watches you. He gives you, he gives you the, the, he gives you the, what, what, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if, if I want to, if you live in a house and the man wants to sell the house, the right to reject, he gives you the right, the right to reject, to say that, oh, I made a mistake. Then you come and say, you report yourself. But now, two things. When people fall in sin, they either grow or they come down. Falling in sin is not the problem. It's how they react to it. The energy inside, if it's towards Satan, it will bring that person to pride. He won't want you to talk about it. He won't want it to be known. Children of God, the sign that you are a child of God is that you can't hide something. You can't hide sin. Because the Bible says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. So if you understood what we read there, everything was in Lucifer complete. Light and darkness was in him complete. So when he started saying, Thus says myself, you know, Bible says he weakened the nations, the nations of the angels. He weakened them. When he will come and he will give an uncertain sound. Give a message that they will not understand. He turned the message gradually. He leaves some droppings. When you sit under a tree and birds are gathered, the birds, they start to drop. Pop, 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 they start to poo. Amen. He weakened the nations. Give glory to God. Everybody said, go, oh, give glory to God. He said, although, even though, even though nothing is up there. <laughs> even though nothing is up there. Why? He is understanding that I am carrying God so if I'm carrying God, what is up there? Amen. Praise the Lord. So, when iniquity was found in him, God tolerated him for a season. Until you had gathered his people. Because iniquity was not found in him. When did he have the time to go and gather his people? His angels. He went back and gathered his people. 
When it happened with Cain, God did the same thing. Genesis chapter 4. Let's go to Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. I want you to read verse 6. Verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain. Maybe you read from verse 4. Verse 4. Yes. And Abel, he also brought of the first lanes of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. First to the person before the gift. But unto Cain and to his offering, he unto had no respect. Cain, today our preachers are looking at, they respect the person according to his givings. They what, your what is what you give. How much you, amen. But this is the right rating. In the program of God, for us who are mission people, we go into the field. The first thing we ask God is protection. That we could reach safely, correct? And then the next thing is open doors. Praise the Lord. If there are no open doors, then there are no reasons for us to go. There's no reason for us to be there. Praise the Lord. So, first, those who sacrifice in prayers, then those who sacrifice in giving. They are both giving, but the giving of sincere, genuine, selfless prayer is ahead of fundings. Yes, in the natural, without fundings, we can't go anywhere. But you could have funds and not come back alive. Amen. But unto Cain and his offering, what happened? But unto Cain and to his offering, yes. he had no respect. And what happened to Cain? And Cain was very wroth. Cain was rough. And his countenance fell. And his face went down. Now why did his countenance fell, fall? When your face falls, your heart is scattered. Why? Because that the Bible says that God did not have respect is that God wants to correct him. God wants to correct him. Some people say, you shouldn't be angry. Whatever I do, you should love it. You see some mothers. He say, baby, he say, baby. He say, baby, your baby now know how to, as a small baby, know how to, if you want to touch somebody's face, he just goes straight to the eyes. He say, baby. I will take the baby and I'll write it. You see. Don't put it there again. Amen. Amen. What kind of baby you know how to only pock eyes? I will not pock cheek. Next verse. Listen to verse 7 down. And the Lord said unto Cain, why? Verse 7. Concentrate. Verse, yes. Verse 7. If thou doest well. If you have done well. Shalt thou not be accepted? I would have accepted you. And if thou doest not well, if you didn't do well, sin lieth at the door. Sin is lying at your door. And unto thee shall be his desire. Yes. And thou shalt rule over him. Now, many people don't know. Still, don't, don't leave that place. Sin lying at your door does not mean sin or to be committed. That's an offering. That's a lamb. Is that sin? And that lamb is Christ. Say, Christ is before you. The covers the word of God. He has a lot of traps. He said, Sin lied before you. The Bible said that Jesus Christ became sin. That's what he's talking about. For us. For it is written, Cause is every man that hanged on the tree. He's not a sinner. Mm -mm. Sin. Are you seeing light? That everything was together. Even when God came in man, he put everything together to grow together, to test. So that man himself can be angry. Let them separate. Cain killed Abel.
Amen. You see? Praise the Lord. And thou it shall rule over you. But did Cain accept? No. Cain said, I will go the hard way. His solution was that if I can kill Abel, my problem is finished. Those who worked in Pijot company in Nigeria or Volkswagen in Apapa. Is it? Where? Vox is where? Your road. Ojo. In, and, they, and they kill some persons to, to get a beetle. The Toyota has now come. And even Toyota now, they are shifting Toyota aside. Amen. That you didn't succeed here does, didn't end your life. It's a higher ground. All you ask is life. Once there's life, there's a higher ground. Amen. So let's go back. What was the last scripture we're looking at? Before Genesis chapter 4. Ezekiel. Okay, so you are following. All right. So, until iniquity was found in thee. Verse 15. Yes. Thou, Ezekiel chapter 28. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. Yes. Till iniquity was found in thee. Amen. Let's stop there. So, heaven and earth, these Lucifer... He went up and he came down. Heaven, that the Bible says he fell from heaven. He fell from his position. Not, not place. Place is different from position. And we're going to find out that in a few minutes as we look at this. So take all of this away in your mind. Go back to read with me. Okay now. So, let's look at God. Amen. He's omnipresent. Do you believe it? He's omniscient. Do you believe it? He's what? Omnipotent. All powerful. Amen. So, imagine if God comes here and is looking for Let's say he's looking for Brother Clement and God. Even I, I know that you know, you know false prophets who can manage to, to prophesy some things, correct? And say, you are this, you are that, you are this. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Even Habal is voodoo, voodoo men, correct? Yes. Then, so, I want you to examine it with me. So, God came and he was searching. Adam. Oh. Oh. Adam. Oh, Adam. Adam, where are thou? Adam, where are you? Oh, Adam. So, God didn't see Adam. So, Adam, the Bible says, Adam was hiding behind Look at, look at the next verse. Show us. Genesis chapter 3, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Starting from verse 8. Yes, from verse 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking they, in the garden. Ah, they heard, listen, they heard the footsteps. No. The voice. They heard the voice. Of, of the, the Lord of God walking, walking in the garden, walking. The voice does it walk like this? I think now you are starting to reread. Re re you, you have to reread your Bible by transforming your minds. It's not the letters. You have to reread your Bible 
by transforming your minds the things that we see formula romans chapter 1 verse 20 are clearly seen the invisible things of god are clearly seen by the things that are made even his eternal power and godhead so that we are without excuse so now watch this so the voice of the lord was walking and what happened in the cool of the day in the cool of the day and adam and his wife eat themselves from the presence of the lord god now the presence of god is it physical Now, listen to me. When Adam and his wife fellowship with evil, the knowledge of good and evil, they back the word of God, the light. That's what happened. They back the light. Brother, when you have fellowship urge to pray, and you are praying, and after you got off prayer, you felt you have done enough. Ah, God, take it easy. I have done enough for today. Eh? Must I pray and kill myself? Relax. Ah, Lord, Argentina, I want to play Spain. Ah, relax. God, I invite you to come and watch with me or you leave it. You see, your, your brother, who is your prayer partner, he, the phone is ringing. You do as if you don't see it. It is the voice of God walking in the cool of the day of your own life. You put it in silence. You turn your phone upside down. You cover it. You just turn the phone upside down like this so that the call, that call will not disturb you. So that when even a promotion call is coming, you are not there to pick it because why? You are supporting Spain. And you sit down there and another fellowship begins. They begin to give testimony. Oh, brother, that girl, Ronaldinho. You begin to, ah, ah. Oh, that coach. It was yesterday they signed him. Fix it, testimony. And let me tell you, the same way Almost the same way, if not better, you feel in the presence of God, you will feel there. Because there is a connection. Brother Branham said the two lines are too close that you don't know when you are on the other one. So, he said, get away from the line region. Stay in the middle of the road. And what is the middle of the road? By my illustration, it is the center of this, your Bible. That is the center of the world. Not physically, you know what I'm talking about. It's the center. Be in the middle of the world. If you fall to the right, you don't fall out. You fall inside the world. You fall to the left, you fall forward. Anyhow you fall, you are falling into the world. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. So what happened? They hid themselves among the trees of the garden. Now, wait. Praise the Lord. These are physical trees. Listen. They could stay under some shades. But they were now fellowshipping with other entities. It is written also for our own examples. Next verse. Verse 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam. Wow. And said unto him, Where art thou? Adam! Where art thou? Where are thou? Where are thou? Why are you sweating? Why are you cold? Why are you thinking? 
Listen, the sons of God were not supposed to be thinking. You know, when something happens, people, it is the nature of humans to just take the chair and they just sit down and they, they, will, they just think about it. Hmm, wow, oh. Then the way they will talk so that pity can come. Tap on, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Take heart, condolence, condolence. Such a thing. Adam was, why are you thinking? What has happened? But we're supposed to keep moving because we're never supposed to stop. When there is trouble, our song changed. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my Lord thou hast taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul. So I said, brother, I came to say sorry. Say, no, no. It is well. It is well with my soul. Brother, I came to tell you sorry. It is well. It is well with you don't tell the light sorry. But I heard what happened. It is well, it is well with my soul. With my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well with. But I hope I heard you lost your job. It is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well with my soul. Amen. There is nothing like, what are we going to do now for a child of God? No, 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 no. Never let anyone ask you, what are we going to do now? You don't squeeze your face and say, oh, okay, oh, pastor, the generator has not been fixed, it's not that ready. No, we don't have a problem. We have our phones. Put it on mixer. Brethren of us, they will still follow the message. They will only miss the board writing for one or two days. But it is well with our soul. Because there is time for everything. It is well. You are not an object of pity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is well with your soul. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. So, listen. When God now said, let there be light, what did he do? He came back and separated this heaven from the earth. See what I'm doing? Read for me Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 verse number 8. Verse 8. And God called the firmament heaven. Let's read from 6. Verse 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. To and divide. Let, 
and yes. let it divide the waters from, from the, the waters. waters. Okay, but keep reading. And God made the firmament uh -huh. and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. So look at it. And it was so. And he called what? And God called the firmament heaven. Heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. First day, division of light from darkness. Second day, if the earth and the heaven was not together, why are you dividing it? Are we talking? Amen. Are we talking? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Now, when he got to verse 10, finish, keep reading, read verse 9. Verse 9. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto yes. one place. Unto one place. And let the dry land appear. Uh-huh. And it was so. And God said. And God called the dry land earth. Earth. And the gathering together of the waters called the seas. Seas. And God saw that it was good. But you see that the waters gathering to the firmament above it, from the firmament, he calls it heaven. Change your minds. Don't boast that you have read the Bible 50 times. Start to read now. Amen. Amen. Verse 11. Verse 11. Now and listen. God said. And God said. Let the earth bring forth grass. Aha. The herb yielding seed. Yes. And the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind. Yes, sir. Whose seed is in itself. Yes, sir. Upon the earth. And it was so. This was also separation. That's why. You, when you read the book of Leviticus. What law do you see when the Bible says nobody should wear a cloth with different colors? You hear something like that? In those days. Nobody should have a farm where he plants different kind of crops inside, inside one piece of land. God was trying to show you some invisible things because of the formula. He's talking about separation. Brother Abraham say that everything about the word of God is separation. So when he came here, he took about the seed. Because this seed is the last that will be separated till we have the true seed and the false seed. May the name of the Lord be glorified. And may he bless his word in our hearts. And grant us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. When peace like a river attended my way. Let's sing that song. Amen.
If Satan should forfeit, if trial should let this bless assurance. If you can understand that song, let it control your attitude. Was that Christ a regard that my help less estate and has shed his own blood for my soul? Oh, yes, it is well. With my soul, oh, it is well. Amen. It is well. Yes. My soul, my sins, oh, the bless all this glorious thought. I hope you can see it. My sins not in part for the whole. He's nailed to the cross. He's nailed to Hallelujah. Cross. And I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. It is well. Amen. With my soul. Oh. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well. With my soul. For. Oh, 
is well with my soul. Amen. Let's bow our heads. If you can, you can kneel down before the Lord. It's not too big a thing. I'll be needing your prayers. And I'm going to pray for you. Tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving for Kampala, Uganda, along Brother Jofo and his wife and Sister Nice. JP Rohana is already in Kenya. There are some meetings going on there. We are to meet up. I have a very tight schedule to finish all that is before us and the ministry and to come back for the convention straight to the convention but I have a prayer to pray for you this hour and those that are hearing me online following up because we are one family the body of Christ this ministry does not represent an assembly just that I'm domiciled in this assembly but this ministry cuts across where the name of Jesus Christ is accepted and where the true Godhead is accepted that you may know him the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he had sent so I'm going to pray for everyone I'm using Elder Asogwa Elder as the point of contact to as many that are not here and his family. Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We bow before you. You are worthy of all praise. Be thou exalted, ancient of days, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. If it not for you, we would have been consumed. O Lord, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, receive all adoration. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thou art worthy to be glorified, to be praised. And Lord, we humble ourselves. Our faces are down. For Lord, without you we can do nothing. Be exalted in the name of Jesus your dear son. Dear Lord, I commit this assembly. The elder brother Asogwa and his family and all other families in this assembly, the families online, the families in other assemblies, oh God, in our sister churches everywhere, I pray your mighty hand of protection lay on them hold them whatever Satan is scheming light has been separated from darkness and darkness has never won any battle against the light 
Therefore, Lord, the devices of Satan are exposed and the weapons are destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, all the ministers that will minister here in the next two weeks, oh God of heaven, help them to stand on what you have given to them. May they not look for something that you have not given to them. But Lord, as they stand, let a higher glory be revealed in healing, in deliverance, in breakthroughs, in the name of Jesus Christ. We're also preparing them because of the mission that is ahead. I want to thank you for all the preparations, all that is done. Thank you for Brother Lembang. Thank you for the healing of his body. Thank you, Lord. Because what you have in stock for us, we cannot see it. So great, so mighty. That's why the enemy is scared and is shaky. But what is written is written. The eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has in store for those that love Him. I pray for those that are afflicted in any way. Your testimony has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, visit us with a mighty visitation. We have commanded we have a vigil this Friday, Lord. Lord, you will show yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. As we intercede, let there be victory. Break the chains of darkness. Thank you for Brother Joseph, that the last of us that traveled, he traveled safely. We thank you, Father. I was hearing the testimony of Brother Dio today concerning Brother Joseph and how he called him. Lord, thank you for Brother Okaiwe, God's power. And now we have helped him to succeed. To, Lord, to take a stand. And you have affixed his feet in the land where he is in Bahrain. We thank you for other brothers and sisters. May the grace of God be their portion continually. Oh Lord, as we venture in this trip, let souls be one to the name of Jesus Christ. Let troubling assemblies be set in order. May there be peace. There is Ebola in that land. Father, you protect us. Hide us from the destruction of the enemy. We'll come back safely. And Lord, as we prepare for the camp meeting, Lord, may you give us victory. May we not go to the camp without having the support to support. Give us this end of year bonuses. We'll testify. The Lord has taken away the fears and the troubles and the trials in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless all these ministers. Brother Ahis, Brother Godswill, Brother Newman, Brother Okolo, Brother Chubike, all the ministers, Brother Chima in Port Novo, all of them. Lord, help their light to shine. Thank you, Father Divine. We pray for our pastor in Ibadan. Oh God, strengthen him. He had been in and out of hospital. Lord Richard, you are healed in Jesus' name. Pastor Billy Joseph, Lord, we pray. He had spent nights. And he went back, he still spent days and hours on the pulpit. Lord, strengthen your man servant. Strengthen him and keep him strong for us. And all the servant, Pastor Josiah, would you? Pastors in Benin and every places in Potakot, in Uyo, Monono, and all the people associating, bless them, oh God. Those that we're going to meet, Pastor Charles Obon, may he receive a miracle this time. 
and all the ministers that are coming from nearby, nearby countries. Bless them. Our precious brother Richard Gann, bless him, O oh God. Strengthen them out of Zion. Victory belongs to Jesus. You that they are watching online, be blessed. Pray for all the churches there. Brother Tommy and his wife, Shannon. Brother Kolade, Sister Bree, Sister Gretty, all of you. Brother Jean Marie, God's will. All of you, wherever you are, Brother Pierre Rohana, JP that is in Kenya, in Africa, you will not fall sick. Let the fellowship be strong. Let the word of God continue to grow. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put thanks God for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you tonight. Amen. We just immediately after the meeting, I have a brief meeting with the ministers and elders. Amen. And the Lord grant you grace. Let us prepare well for the camp. Amen. All our satellite sister churches, let's box our phones together. Let's prepare well for the camp. We're all going. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because we'll be having ministers from us ministering there. Of course, you know, if I'm traveling down, I'll be very tired. So I'm, I must be resting also. Amen. So we have ministers here who are going to be ministering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Lord will grant us grace in the name of Jesus Christ. God, who has been doing wondrous things, will not stop doing. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's take our offerings and call the dismissed service in Jesus' name. Yes. So Oh, Lord.